Greetings and welcome back everyone! This is the Duck of Indeed and we are now continuing Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. I really needed to do these purple comets to get the remaining stars, but I recently read that, uh... Everybody knows. I recently read that you can't do the purple comets until you've done the final boss, so... Looks like we're doing the final boss today. I think we talked to Rosalina. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? Yes, I do. All right, then. Off we go. Let's do this. There is a warp field inside the castle. Go, they are inside. Hurry. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. Here we go. I didn't want to have to do this one quite yet, but we have to. Then we'll get to the purple stars. I never like ending the game on not the final boss, but this is how it is. Hello, little Loomis. Hello, Elsa. How are you? Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving your special one. Please be careful. Whatever you do, don't fail. I certainly am not gonna try. Those spotlights have their own gravity. Try sticking to them. Okay. Ah, I see. Weird. Game is a lot of creative ways to mess with gravity. Ah. Eek! Woo! Ah. Eek! Oh, Mario! Oh, you are too slow. That's all right. Here we are. <laughs> but yeah, this game has a, it's quite a variety of a. Uh, gravity space related challenges it's a it's a good game and I'll I'll miss it when it's done I'll miss it and yet partly I won't miss it because some of the levels are a pain Whoop. okay I don't know where that thing was going whoa Careful, move! I just—I didn't even know there was a comet coming after me. I just randomly dodged it without even meaning to. I—I'd like to get that, but can I? No. I'd like to get the extra life, but I think I might have missed my chance. Wee! I'm just going for it. There's probably no secrets in this area. Probably just go for it. How do I get to that? Whoa, whoa, Mario! Uh, well, that's not, that's not right. I couldn't get out of there. I better get be start getting extra lives though. What are you guys making me redo? All this? Oh! Oh. At least get the extra life, Mario. Uh, 
Well, I got the extra life and then I died. Okay, let's try this again. Well, ah, uh, keep trying. Okay. <laughs> Mario, be careful. Ugh. Okay. Get those star bits. Try to get some extra lives. Just be careful, Mario. Last time we... Oh! D okay. You have a time limit because the ice cubes eventually fall. You know what? Oh, wow. Wow, I'm still here! I thought I thought I was... I thought that was it. I thought I was dead. Forget you. I don't know. When I get the extra lives, I usually end up falling to my doom. So. Uh, the extra lives have not been helping me. Okay, Mario. This place is crazy. What I expected from the final level. But, whoa! I'm awesome. Ha ha. Hoo hoo hoo. Hee hee hee. Okay, well, just be really careful. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. What's up, Elsa? My kitty cat Elsa's playing. What's wrong, Elsa? What's up? What are you doing? You playing with toys? That sounds like good fun, Elsa. You're so good at having fun, Elsa. Okay. Hi, Elsa. Have a good time with that toy. Well, I better be extra careful. Keep going, Mario! Keep going. Okay. We're alright, we got our health back. Forget you, extra life. I don't need you. Stop it! Uh, this is horrible. Oh no! There's a giant bullet bill. What is it, Elsa? What's up? I really don't know if I can play with you right now. I seem to be kind of busy. Awful. It's terrible. It's not enough checkpoints. Just terrible. No! Stop it! Oh, really? Mario's gonna fall in the lava now? Really? Would you stop it? Oh! This area is horrible. <laughs> Hello, Bowser Jr. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me. I'll help you, Princess. Even though you gotta stop getting kidnapped, please. Uh. Uh. Well, I've gotten I've gotten this far. Just go, Mario. Just go. Just go as fast as you can, Mario. Uh, 
Hello. Hello, Bowser. Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever. Or at least until you die, Bowser. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stomping you is at the top of my list. What a coinky ding! Stomping you is the top of my list! Who's gonna get their way? Oh! I, uh, I have slow reaction time today. So, what do I do about Bowser this time? Because normally... I'm not doing very good. Normally, he stomps these certain areas and then you hit him. I. That wasn't a good idea. Okay. Did I? Uh, this is a lot of ways to get health. No, nope. how did I thought I attacked that and got something once? I must. I must be mistaken. Oh, I'm doing terrible. I guess Bowser must have destroyed one of those spiky things because I thought I did, and I was surprised, and I got a coin, and no, that's not how it worked. How do you do this? How do you do this? I'm assuming I hit him when he's rolling around, but it's like really not easy to hit that exact spot on the rock. There we go. This is not going well. Well, I had no way to react to that. Can't react to oh wow, he didn't hit me. There's just Ooh There's not enough time to do anything. Aha I know, I need to hit him again. What? What? Oh, we got to another thing. I thought there's no way I'm done. I'm not. I'm correct. There is no way I'm done because I'm not done. But we got into new areas of health, which is nice. Well, I certainly can't get him when he's doing that. We will wait and see what happens. What do I do about this weirdo? I probably like. Do I hit like this? Oh, woohoo! This is actually easier than the per previous part of the battle. Make sure you don't get hit yourself. Ah! Too slow. That's easier, though. Hitting him like that is a lot easier than having to hit the stupid rock. So far, this part of the battle is easier than part one. Come on, you freak. Woohoo! I didn't get hurt. Ah ha ha! Two parts over with. Ugh. Oh. Part three. Is this gonna be it? Oh, this kind of stuff again. More of the traditional stuff again. 
Yep. I probably shouldn't talk. <laughs> I better concentrate. One more hit, right, Bowser? Bet you're getting worried. Whoa! What? Now what? What are you doing? You're doing this now? Did I get him? Oh! That's not bad considering I was doing horrible. <laughs> Take that, Bowser. See you in Super Mario Galaxy 2, right? <laughs> he was in that one, right? I don't remember. I haven't played that game in years. I assume. Who else would it be? Woohoo! Elsa, why are you on the counter again? Well done, Mario. You earned this one. Ah. That was... It was nice to get that one over with. That was stressful. That was horrible and I hated it. That was really tough. That was more... That was tougher than I expected. to what happens. Fighting you again, Bowser, it's over. Don't you dare come back. No, my galaxy, my empire. This can't be happening. Oh, it can. You were just defeated by a duck, Bowser. And and Mario, but mainly me.
<laughs> Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. That's really creepy, actually. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. Star babies are whiny. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So, you'll see. Everything's all pretty nappy again, but Bowser's pirate ship is still there. Hmm. Looks like everyone's getting along, though. Even the baddies. Stars, even all of you. What? Oh. Huh. I almost missed the dialogue. Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! Okie dokie. Is it time for the credits? Yes, it's. Probably, yes it is. Credits! Oh. Well, that final level was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Considering that you can reach the final boss after only like 80 stars or something, I thought that maybe it wouldn't be that tough, but it was. It was. I wonder where my kitty is. She keeps getting on the counter. If I play video games, which I do a lot, she gets on the counter. Because she's not getting attention. It seems very silly. She's a very silly kitty cat. Oh, Elsa. You're a silly, goofy kitty. Hopefully these credits aren't too long. But, uh, yeah. Super Mario Galaxy is not over yet. We still have, I guess, 15 purple comets to do. Apparently the purple comets don't show up until after you beat the game. And it's recommended that you beat the game like 15, 20 stars before you reach 104. You can get to 104 before you can before you can go no farther. Because then you can like take care of stars and then have purple comets show up in between. Now I'm probably going to have to pay the uh, purple Luma in order to make the comets appear. So, but I have plenty of star bits. I can do that. I just think I'm going to have to pay to get them to show up this time. But, what you going to do? We're going to get them. We're going to take care of those next. I also heard that after this game, you can play the entire game all 120 stars over again as Luigi. And I'm just saying now that's not happening. It's just never going to happen. I don't think I've ever done that. I doubt I ever have. Even on my own. And I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> It's, it's highly unlikely. If I were to do that, I probably wouldn't record it and just show you guys what happens at the end, but I really don't think I'm going to do that either, because I just really don't want to. <laughs> the game's fun does not mean I want to repeat the entire thing just because Luigi's in it. It's not 
I don't care. It's not enough of a difference. I'm gonna have to be thinking about what games I play after this, though. But we're not done yet. We're not done. But after Super Mario Galaxy, figure out what we're gonna do. You guys are welcome to suggest games. Doesn't mean I'll necessarily be able to play them. But you can always suggest... Uh, the games I can record is Wii games, Wii U games, PS4 games, and Virtual Console games. Those are the games I can currently record. Just remember, E-rated or T-rated. We don't do anything above T-rated. No M-rated games. Sorry, you guys. Except special circumstances, because I've been considering in the past recording Halo. But, uh... Most M-rated games, no. But yes, you're welcome to suggest games. It may not... If it's something that I am not able to afford, then I may not be able to, but... Yeah. Virtual Console's always pretty good, though. But... Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully these credits will be s done soon. They're, they're on the images for the final boss. So... Yeah. Don't know exactly what I'm going to play next. I don't know if I'm going to focus more on retro games. It's one thing I've considered. Oh, we're done. Cool. I'm glad the credits weren't long. But yeah, I've considered doing more retro games, but we'll see. We'll see what I feel like. Thank I can't commit so to anything. For playing my game. Oh, hello. You're welcome, Mario. A new chapter has been added to the storybook. Oh, hooray! The purple comet has appeared. Woohoo! We gotta end this video soon, but I guess we can check a few things out. Why not? Back into the game. Do 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 do. Hello, it's my Yoshi head. Wee! You can spin it for some reason. Okay. Play this file. 105 stars. Here we go. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. I returned like five minutes later. I returned a l probably quicker than you expected, didn't I, Rosalina? <gasps> Purple star. Please look down at your feet. What about my feet? Fifteen. Oh, I see. His feet. Mario's feet. I see. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Ooh. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. It'll show that you are a great person, duck. Okay. Well, there is currently a purple star in the terrace. We will finally be able to complete all those old galaxies. All those old galaxies that we did a long time ago that I never completed. Now we finally can. I would definitely like them now, I guess. Sure. Give them to me. Thank you. Okay. Let's check out the storybook real quick. I will probably end this video and we'll get to work on the purple stars next time. Ooh. Let us begin. What you got for me now, Rosie? Chapter 8, The Wish. Is this the final chapter, or are there going to be more chapters, I wonder? Hmm. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama, because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me. I love star bits because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. I will transform into a comet, a soaring comet that can carry you all on this journey. With that, Luma, trailing bands of white, soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down.
Kaboom! Kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of this crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. And then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. But how, she kept asking. Our destiny as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma, who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets, we can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? All the Lumas together said, no more crying, Mama. Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final Chapter Family With its many lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, All right, everyone, let's make a cake. A cake sprinkled with star bits. Then it will be a star cake. The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. As she watched the Lumas scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself, This is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every 100 years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the Lumas and the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in tow than can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every 100 years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. The end. That's Rosalina's tale. That's all. My story is finished. Twas a very nice story. A very nice story indeed. Thanks for watching, everybody. As I said before, we're going to continue the purple. We're going to start the purple comets in the next video. So that'll be quite, kind of fun. Finally can actually start completing galaxies. So that'll be good. I always like to complete things. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and visit our blog at virtualbastion.com.